All right, good morning, everyone. And today we're coming at you from St. Augustine, Florida. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. Yeah. And in this video here, we're gonna show off a, um, what looks to be a very interesting tourist trap style attraction. I have been here once. I have not, but we are at the location of the mythical Fountain of Youth. Uh, obviously there's historical markers and all sorts of stuff like that. It is an attraction you go in and you see a whole bunch of historical or not so historical stuff. I'm excited. Let's go check this out. So here's just a look at the pricing, about $18 for adults to get in. And uh, if you really love it here, you can buy an annual pass. All right, Molly, we're off to a good start. As uh, the first thing we saw when we came in, it's a big peacock. Peacocks are all around here. It's like a sanctuary for them. Which is awesome. And he's just hanging out on top of this. I do enjoy peacocks, beautiful birds. <laughs> and so here we are, we're at America's first colony, the Fountain of Youth. We've got a, a photo op over here with a, I'm assuming that it's supposed to be Ponce de Leon himself. And a peacock. Yeah. <laughs> and a peacock. <laughs> yes, Molly, you are correct. There are lots of peacocks all around here. Well, it is a sanctuary. That's why there's a big peacock. Uh -huh. I am more interested in real peacocks, like this one. That's a big peacock. It is? Ah, keep out. Peacocks only. Now the first exhibit you get to is the spring house itself, home to the Fountain of Youth. You do have a nice uh, diorama with some wax figures. And then you go down the stairs and uh, drink <laughs> from the fountain itself. And there it is. It's covered in 15, 13. All right, Molly. There we go. Said that's way more water than I would drink out of the sink. <laughs> All right, Molly, down the hatch. If I remember right, it's not good. <laughs> It'll make you feel oh so much younger for that birthday coming up next week. It's very sulfury. Delicious. <laughs> so the Fountain of Youth attraction—they've got a lot of different um, show times. So there's a planetarium, a Discovery Globe. I don't know what the Discovery Globe is, but it's closed today. And then there's a uh, firearms presentation, something about a Spanish watch, uh, a cannon firing, and a blacksmith. So the next exhibit is very interesting as well. Timucuan Indian Burial Grounds. You go into another building here. And uh, they have audio telling you all about it. And uh, those are the burial grounds there. Uh, people buried as far as, what was it, 700 A.D.? So over here you have a recreation of the Native American village that lived here when Ponce de Leon uh, made his way. Different uh, replicas of skulls and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of the animals. So this field here is the uh, the sediment field, and they are, you know, where they rebuild the past. Once you get past the uh, the pickup trucks. And there you go. So they have a, a blacksmith exhibit here, complete with like old time. He was just pumping these old timey uh, bellows like things to stir the fire. There's an anvil and all that kind of stuff. Pretty neat. It's a, uh, you know, very reminiscent of Silver Dollar City or Dollywood. Okay. Theme parks. Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. The the blacksmiths I'm familiar with. But it is cool. One more look at that uh, giant bellows kind of thing in action. It's neat. All right, Molly, you're ready for some stairs? Yeah, stairs exercise. <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> Here's a view from the top of the lookout tower. You have a whole bunch of old cannons over there as well. Really, really old stuff. And then looking out into the water. Which makes sense because they would build lookout towers to see yeah. other ships and dangers on the ocean. You can see a, a lighthouse like way over there in the distance. St. Augustine lighthouse. Climb up. Here's a shot of a very, very old and small looking planetarium. 
in the planetarium building, you've got a, a recreation of like the, the ship that Ponce de Leon would have came on and full of all different buttons and stuff to show and you. This uh, is the captain's cabin. And it lights up. It's neat. It's very cool. You do have another model over here, and this one, if you look closely, it moves. Not much, but it's there, there is some movement. And this is the Nina. Here, you got a Spanish cannon from 1750. Which is ridiculous. 80. Well, yeah, I mean, I was, I'm assuming it's, it's 200 years old. But uh, that's cool, it's, and it's not like a replica, like this is the real deal. Yeah. So Molly, what are these giant jars we see all around here? There are large clay jars that the Spanish used um, to catch rainwater. And they were half buried underground to keep it cool. Over here's a recreation of the San Augustin, which was the, their work boat. Pretty, pretty snazzy looking boat. Here's a better view of that boat. And also uh, the water, really, really clear here in St. Augustine. We do have kind of a trippy view here of this big, long boardwalk. So pretty cool when you're on this uh, boardwalk kind of thing. Lots of different animals. It's an estuary, so it's in between a, a, the salt water and the fresh water. So you can see some really, really cool animals. Manatees, alligators, uh, sea turtles, and dolphins. I've seen nothing but pelicans. <laughs> yeah, I've only seen the birds. Nothing in the water. We'll say the boardwalk reminds me of one of the Friday the 13th movies. I'm not sure which one. Molly made me watch one of them. Jason was very angry and murdering people. It was the 3D one, the it, horrible uh, one. <laughs> oh yes, the, the other ones are all so, so different and so great. <laughs> they are! You can't knock Jason like that. We have made it to the end of the boardwalk. It's kind of peaceful. We're like the only people out here. Uh, besides a, a load of seagulls and one very, very majestic looking pelican. So we were kind of failing to see any of that fun marine life that was advertised on that sign. Yeah, no alligators or manatees. No, nope. turtles. I would imagine turtles would be the most common. Not even crabs. Not even crabs, yeah. Um, you do, if you come all the way out on the boardwalk, you do get a good sight of this giant uh, cross, which I think is the site of the first Catholic mass ever. Like in America. In America, yeah. yes. Which would make sense. This statue here, that's Ponce de Leon's landing memorial. Yes. Uh, another show they offer here is a weapons, like an old timey weapons demonstration. Probably using that gun. Pretty neat. This is pretty neat over here. Uh, these guys are building a canoe out of this log. Seems like it would be a, a lot of work, but uh, when it's done, it'll look like that. You've got another uh, pretty fountain and lake over here. Over here by the water now, and this was the historical boathouse. Right by the, the water side now, and uh, something we're not going to stick around to do, but it would probably be pretty neat. About once an hour or so, starting at 11, they uh, fire off a cannon, like a historical kind of cannon. I imagine they go through like how it works and then kaboom. Kaboom. Now this big field here, it is like an archeological dig site. And you can see all the different places they dug in the past and some of the things they found. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Molly, you like this one here. Yeah, it's pretty. It definitely seems like you're in a garden. You know, I love when they have photo ops like this, as it gives me an excuse to put Molly in something. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, She's that, a conquistador. It's here. Conveniently oh, wearing a mask. <laughs> uh, this building here is a replica of the original mission church, mm -hmm. uh, which, which makes sense with, you know, uh, the... Uh, conquistadors coming over, that they would build a, a church of some type. And this is what it would have looked like. That the fancy electric lights and all that. 
This next one's kind of a neat exhibit, especially if you have kids. It's an archaeological dig site. So you have little shovels and uh, pans, and in there there could be, you know, Spanish and gold silver coins, shark teeth and fish bones, arrowheads, and Molly's gonna do some digging and see what she can find here. Oh, all right, she found some shells. Nope, that was a... Uh, just shells. Just shells. <laughs> I wasn't good at this. No, no doubloons for Molly. Just some shells. Wah, wah. Here you can see a pretty cool statue of Ponce de Leon. A Native American totem pole. So a neat exhibit here, just sort of showing off how pulleys work on the old ships. Uh, this one only has one pulley, so you're pulling up. These barrels here are 60 pounds, so this one is... A lot of strength. Yeah. The next one here is a uh, two pulleys, so it's half as much. Makes a horrible noise. <laughs> and the last one should be the easiest one, four. It make, this one makes a fun noise. <laughs> And that's uh, pulleys. Yeah, go for it. No. Almost done here at the Fountain of Youth, but... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, peacocks. I don't think that was me. But uh, I just wanted to show off some of the, the peacocks. There's a lot right here by the exit. A couple hanging out here on this... Old, that's hilarious. So um, these peacocks are resting on an old anchor. Perfect for them. Mm -hmm. And then you got, man, there's so many. There's peacocks up here on the balcony. Now this makes sense. These look like custom built peacock perches. And uh, a white peacock. Mm -hmm. You don't see. <laughs> no, I think that's probably the only one here. Cool to see so many of them. And like all attractions, you exit through the gift shop. And this gift shop's kind of unique as you can get bottles filled with the spring water. All different types from like little mason jars, big wine bottles, uh, bottles with your name on it. Uh, the equivalent of like the Bort license plate here. <laughs> oh man. You could even get one if you don't want a name, you could just have it say tough guy. But yeah, they have a, a surprisingly large gift shop. Uh, and Pika, that makes sense. Shot glasses, that makes sense for the, the Fountain of Youth. Flamingo stuff, not as much sense. But yeah, some, uh, some neat stuff here in the gift shop. They also do have a snack bar like right outside. And a pretty good draft beer selection. As I zoom in, I don't know if it'll focus. But yeah, they got Highline and Sweetwater 420. Like, two of my favorite beers. Looks like they're only four bucks. That's a good deal. Yeah. And uh, barbecue food. And that'll do it for a time here at the Fountain of Youth uh, exhibit. And uh, definitely not what I expected coming in. I expected it to be a lot more about the the mythical uh, nature of the Fountain of Youth. And not uh, the landing of Ponce. Yes, as opposed to you know a much more historical exhibit. I was expecting more about like all the myths and legends regarding the the mythical fountain, as opposed to I guess I was trying to just name the Fountain of Youth. Yeah. And um, interesting exhibit, very different. It uh, is. It very much feels like the equivalent of like a colonial Williamsburg, except for Florida. Yes. Uh, we were here for about an hour. I, I don't know if it was worth the $18 to come in or not. I think if you're in St. Augustine, you, mm -hmm. you, you probably should do it. Mm -hmm. Now, money, this is my second time. I don't think it was worth me. I, I mean, but, the, the I mean, fountain is pretty neat. It, they t it's very sulfury. <laughs> Be forewarned when you and, get uh, your cup. I enjoyed the, the peacocks everywhere and the uh, that long river wall kind of thing with the, the pelican was also pretty neat. Yes. Uh, we didn't see any of the shows. Obviously, you're going to see some of the shows that will uh, give you a longer experience. We were only here for about an hour or so. But there you go. If you have any questions about this uh, historical archaeological park, let us know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.